another fine day on the World Wide Web, aka the Tenth Circle of Hell. So this isn't gonna be a very funny video, um, I'm gonna try to make it as entertaining as possible, but honestly it's just gonna make you angry and sad. So I was on Twitter at like 5 in the morning, scrolling endlessly through a sea of despair, as one does. I saw this tweet by someone I follow. Hey Brooke Houts, what's up with that video you accidentally uploaded on YouTube of you abusing your dog? So here is that video. It doesn't faze you. Well, as you can tell, lot to unpack here, but let's just burn the whole suitcase. Let's start from the beginning. This YouTuber has over 300,000 subscribers. She's not a nobody. A lot of her newer videos revolve around her new puppy, Sphinx. And as you can see, she really, really likes to use him as clickbait for her channel, which in most cases is fine. Everybody loves cute animals. Apparently, Brooke accidentally uploaded raw footage to her YouTube channel. And as you saw in that clip, somebody recorded it before she had time to delete it. When I saw this video, it only had, I think, 800 views. It was basically just flying under the internet's radar. So, of course, I had to tweet about it. Keemstar picked it up. I'm sure that it's just gonna blow up. Here's the edited version of the video that she was supposed to upload. This is the video that's public on her channel right now. What's up, everyone? It's your girl, Brooke, here today. For this video, I wanted to prank my dog. She's over there. Why is that so easy for you? Come here. Come here. Notice how in the video she's very hyper, she's playing with the dog, she's rewarding this playful behavior, she's running around with it, yet behind the scenes she's punishing this dog for doing the exact same behavior. She is the one riling it up, getting it playful, and then beating the shit out of it for being playful. Now I was pretty sure most people would be on board with saying this is really bad, but alas, there were white knights defending this girl. I don't know what you're on about. This is how you treat dogs. Gotta show them who's in charge, even though you love them. I'm sorry, what? Maybe this is how you treat dogs. The woman spat on her dog. What would that even do? The dog doesn't know what being spit on means. The dog doesn't know what being spit on means. That was literally her humiliating it. It's okay, girl. Everyone makes mistakes. What matters is that you learn and grow from them. Yes, everyone makes mistakes. I hate when I slip and fall and repeatedly punch my rabbit in the face. A silly mistake. It's a shame you should have to apologize for this. People lose their temper sometimes. It happens, and people should understand that. People lose their temper sometimes? What? This is literally abuser talk. <laughs> there were a bunch of people saying, this is how you punish your dog, this is just how you punish your dog. No, it's not. In fact, Brooke agrees that this isn't the way to punish your dog. This was from last month. Dogs don't respond well to punishment, especially not mine. They respond best to positive reinforcement of the things they're doing right. I encourage you to discipline your pets in a healthier and kinder manner, smiley face. So that was a fucking lie. Also, it's really disturbing and creepy how she can go from like YouTube mode, like, hey guys, love ya, I love my doggo, oh my god, to just, How 
could you edit that footage? How could you sit down at your computer and edit away those cuts and feel good about this fake ass happy persona you're putting on of you and your dog? Like, I know YouTubers are different behind the scenes. Like, I know you guys all think I'm like, fucking awesome, right? I'm like the coolest person ever. I know that's what you guys all think. Like, I'm just like this total badass. But actually, in reality, I'm like a huge fucking loser. Could you believe it? Like, of course, there's like your two different personalities. Like, it's very normal. But the absolute Jekyll and Hyde that went on here is like scary. I was going to wait until the official YouTuber apology video came out where she's not wearing any makeup and has her hair in a bun and is wearing a big smushy sweatshirt. But no, we got a written apology and I will read it right now. I apologize to anyone who has been affected negatively by the footage. On the day in particular that video was filmed, and actually this past week, things in my outside life have been less than exceptional. I am not going to play the victim card or anything. Okay. But I do want to point out that I am rarely as upset as what was shown in the footage. The bubbly, happy-go-lucky brook that you see often in my videos is typically an accurate representation of me. But it's obvious that I'm playing up my mood for this video when I'm clearly actually frustrated. Dark place headass! All of these fucking YouTubers, when they get caught doing something stupid, come out with a sob story. They all go, I was in a dark place. Guys, if I ever do some fucked shit, if I ever just do absolute clownery one day, and my excuse is, I was in a dark place, launch me right into the goddamn sun. Everyone is in a dark place. Everyone is in a dark place. Everyone on the internet, especially YouTubers, are depressed. This is a fact. That being said, this does not justify me yelling at my dog in the way that I did, and I'm fully aware of that. Should I have gotten as angry as I did in the video? No. Should I have raised my voice and yelled at him? No. Um, Brooke, nobody is concerned about the yelling. And you know that. Why have you not mentioned the punching, the kicking, the slamming to the ground? She goes on to say that she is not an animal abuser, did not spit on her dog, Goes on to say that she's getting professional training for the dog. Again brings up that she raised her voice to her dog, leaving out the other things, and then says she loves us. Thanks, I hate it. The internet has a long, long history of calling out animal abuse. I remember back in like 2009, there was this YouTube channel of this guy that was just beating the shit out of this poor little kitten. And the internet all came together, all stopped fighting to come together and save this cat. So I'm sorry if this was a random video. I just, I had to get it out there because it disturbed me and I couldn't sleep. I am running on an hour of sleep. So to lighten the mood and give you guys a little mind bleach, I told you all to send me pictures of your animals being cute. Here's a cute little montage of all your pets. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.
putting a really cute montage together and crying. Very emotionally stable human being I am. You just have really cute pets. <laughs>